It's your brother, Lenry Adeneko, welcoming you to the Really, Really Knowing God channel and bringing you vital enrichment in the knowledge of God, all made possible by the Pastor Lenry Adeneko Center for Inspiration, the place. This is the Daily Gem Devotional. Making you a gem to your generation and a gem stone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are sharing truth this morning on lessons God may forbid. That's coming from Hebrews chapter 6, 1, 2, 3. A little prayer and then we jump right into it together. Father in heaven, we bless your great name, O God. Lord, you are good, your mercy is endure forever. Thank you for the rest we had over the night. Thank you for the safety you also granted. We don't take these things for granted. It's your doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. And this little these few moments we have together, we are asking, O God, that you bless them, O God, for the sake of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Alright then. Hebrews 6 1. <coughs> Therefore, leaving the discussions of the elementary principles of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God, of the doctrine of baptism, of laying on of hands, of the resurrection of the dead, of eternal judgment, and this we will do if God permits. Just those three, uh, we, we, we have quite a lot to share from there this morning. Look, he said, let, leaving therefore the discussions of the basic or the elementary principles of Christ. First thing is that it says that we should leave this elementary level. We should leave this uh, basic level. We should move on to, should I call it intermediate level, and then move on to the senior level, move on to um, um, perfection, if you like, or to the advanced level. Okay, um, that's it. Because you see, we, we, in chapter 5, he said, look, at the time you ought to be receiving advanced stuff, you are still, you know, um, you're receiving milk of the word of God. You, rem- you, want, you want to remember that, don't you? So he's saying now that let us leave the discussions of the elementary principles of Christ. This elementary level, this primary level, let's move on to secondary, let's move on to tertiary, let's move on to advanced uh, levels. And that is important as we grow in Christianity. It's important for us to grow from level to level, not to remain children, not to remain babies that can be thrown, um, you know, to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Anyway, let's move on now. It says the elementary principles of Christ. And I think that is an important thing to talk about this morning. He just didn't say leaving the discussion of, of the basic things. No, he said leaving the discussion of the basic or elementary principles of Christ. I want to under underscore that of christ there you know why because at times we teach stuff that's they're just not of christ and um, they 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 may sound popular they may sound like what people want and all that but these are not the principles of christ um for example somebody told me oh i'm attending uh, some bible college now so that's lovely that's lovely so what are the things um, that that you have like well he said that we've learned a number of uh, uh, things but right now they are teaching us about curses I said that's in what? He said curses now, curses. I mean, C-U-R-S-E now, you know. I said, really? Because as far as I was concerned, this, these are not the principles of Christ. And uh, this person who said he was attending uh, the uh, Bible college, I thought that this person was still really, really young and the Lord and needed to understand the principles of Christ. But we leave those things and begin to teach stuff that are not necessarily principles of Christ. Uh, but it is, it is crucial. The writer of Hebrews is saying that, look, we, ca- we cannot... A stay only on these ones alone. You know that was they had taught those ones, and they are saying we should move from there. But we are, we don't even teach principles of Christ. We are teaching all kinds of things that are simply not principles of Christ. You know, and um, they may sound I don't know. They may sound like this is what people want to hear, but they are not principles of Christ. Honestly, so this is important. It says elementary principles of Christ. Ask yourself, this thing being taught, is this one of the principles of Christ? Amen? God help us. So it says, let's go on to perfection. Fine. Let's go on to the advanced level. Not laying again the foundations and then he went on with the foundations now. Repentance from dead works and not faith towards God. 
this person or some may a lot of people the funny thing that we go on you know behaving as if we know so much about these things and this very 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 fundamental things people do not understand at all the, the foundation of repentance from dead works dead work simply means your own effort your own human effort to try to please god to try to do the things of god rather than counting upon the grace of god which you receive from god when you have access from the access you have in in his presence people don't even understand all that it's about you do your best now you make sure you read the ten commandments and all that those are dead works that's not the you know those are not the principles of christ hallelujah people need to know the principles of christ it goes on to say repentance from dead works i've given that and faith towards god i've explained all that the doctrine of baptisms again a lot of people don't even understand what baptism that very word what it's all about people do not know and when you talk about baptism the thing that comes to the mind of people oh is water baptism oh at the most water baptism and baptism of the holy spirit that's all they know whereas there are other forms of baptism in the bible there are there's baptism into the body of christ very very big and a lot of people don't even know that and it's so fundamental to understand that you are actually baptized into the body of christ honestly very very important god help us that's only one example there are about four five of them that we can talk about let's go on to other things of the laying on of hands resurrection of the dead eternal judgment we can go on and talk about all these things one by one what we are emphasizing is that it is important for you to know those ones and know them well to have those ones and have them well so that you know nobody will come and just go and bring one little story from the old testament and try to you know you know create some doctrine around that you know story from the old testament and make something i remember there was um, this friend of mine professor you know and he was trying to you know tell me the importance of cutting the head of uh, of cutting the head of goliath it was one thing to kill him was another thing to cut his head and i'm like okay that's fine but you see the basic things of christ you don't even know that's my that's my issue this morning you need to know the basic things and then you nobody will just come and start making um a great deal out of something that is one of those things god help us that's why we are we are emphasizing it says and of eternal joy. and this we will do if god permits now that's the one i like this morning we are going to do this if god permits why would he be saying that after all we have said earlier on that it is good for people not to remain babies but to continue to grow on you know in the things of god now it says it's possible god will not permit us to go ahead it's quite possible so he was saying that i i am believing that god will give me the green light to progress in this way god will that will have an inner witness to make me know that this is a good for you at this point in time why because it is not everything that you can teach to everybody every time i'm going to say that again it's not everything that you can teach to everybody every time there is a time some people can receive something. There's a time they are not yet ready to receive it. The other time, Jesus said something about you will not understand this whole this whole thing, but you will understand it later. It's not all the time that everybody can receive everything. Praise God. So it's important for you. Can you remember what we said in, in, in chapter 5 as we are closing chapter 5? He said, by the time you ought to be teachers, you need somebody to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God or of Christ. Okay? And you have come to need milk and not solid food for everyone who partakes of only me is unskillful in the word of righteousness is a babe in other words why somebody is a babe it will be completely wrong of you and probably um i don't want to call it suicidal something that will be inimical so the growth of that person for example you are trying to feed a, a, a baby um, a neonate a baby of eight days you are trying to feed that baby with some some solid foods like meat pie for example <laughs> you are you are trying to do some damage yeah you are trying to kill the baby yeah god may consider some people to be babies and therefore certain things are not ready to be taught that's why god may say don't teach that one here now okay you can teach it to these other people or you can teach it at this other time but not now because these people are not ready to receive it hallelujah so you see there are certain things that god will say don't teach now that's why this principle then this person said we will do this if god permits if i have a green light to progress if i have a green light to push you forward if i if i believe that god is saying okay i have released grace for them to understand what you're about to say yes i'm going to go ahead to share it but i'm not sure that god will do that so he says if god permits 
I will go ahead and do it. Honestly, um, it's good for you to be in a place where God feels comfortable enough to um, give you anything, to, to serve you anything. Because when you are grown, when you are mature, yes, God will be in a position to serve you stuff. Honestly, because you see, remember that in uh, chapter 5, I say strong, solid food or strong food belongs to people who are full age. It's not everybody. Okay, and I spoke about people being skillful in the world. We, are, we stress that all the time. You know, it's possible for you to carry a sword and the sword is useless in your hand because you don't have any skill to use the sword. Yeah, in the same way, some people may have the word of God, but they cannot. It's not the it's a useless sword at the end of the day. Okay, but that's not the, the point we are making today is that or this morning is that God would rather you receive so so and so uh, because you are in a position to process it yeah to to imbibe it and to process it and to make it uh, bless you at the end of the day what qualifies you for that is that you yourself you actually allowed god to make you grow allowed god to help you to be skillful in the world allow god so that the sword of the spirit in your hand is not useless allow god to make you have spiritual more spiritual energy allow god to train you to have spiritual capacity spiritual inside i don't know whether I've not said too much. <laughs> spiritual insight, spiritual capacity to be able to receive. When you are there, the, the minister of God, God will give him a green light to go ahead to share with you. But when you are not any of those things I have described, you are still grappling, you know, with cutting the head of Goliath and curses and things like that. The Lord will just say, but I'm going to give, uh, it's no time for this, for this person. And you want to get something better than that don't you thank you very much for sharing time with us this morning we really appreciate you and please request again that you help us to grow these numbers you are seeing here you know uh, by the grace of god as you share as you make comments and things like that god bless you thank you very much